Hello, today we are going to see how to process to a capability uh, study. Uh, the goals of this tutorial will be uh, to calculate the capability CP and CPK. We are going to plot the normal distribution and plot the control chart. As a prerequisite uh, to this tutorial, you will have to download the Excel file and I give you the link in the description. See you after the jingle. So we are right now in the tab introduction. Uh, so this tab is giving you information about how to use the tool and how the tool is made. So uh, we are now in the tab uh, data. So you can put right here some information about the process you want to analyze. And today we are going to analyze um, a diameter which is machined uh, by a lace uh, machine. Um, so for that, I made another Excel with uh, the diameters um, before action. Okay, so that's the measured value we have after the lace machining, and I'm going to copy this data and paste them uh, in the tool. After that, uh, we are going to go in the normal distribution tab, and I'm going to select the analyzed data. So I select diameter before action and I'm going to uh, fill the cell um, upper specification limit uh, and the lower specification uh, limit. Then now I will calculate uh, the, the workbook. So right now we are in diagnostic and uh, that gives us uh, first the R square approach. Uh, which uh, must be as close as possible to 1, so right now it's 0 0.95, so that's uh, really great. And we have uh, the CP, which is 0 uh, 0.7, uh, and we have the CPK, which is uh, 0 0.69. So, as we can see, the process is uh, not capable, but the process is well uh, centered. After we have different information like PPM, uh, we have the estimated sigma and the estimated non-conformity and conformity. Uh, as we can see, we have 72% uh, of conformity. So we can we know by that our process is not capable. And then we have the analysis. The process capability is not satisfying and the process centering is very satisfying. Uh, now we have the calculation element, so that gives you very useful and uh, deeper information uh, about, um, about your data. Uh, so you have the mean, the standard deviation, uh, you have the minima, the maximum value. Uh, so I'm not going to give you any more information about that right now, uh, but that's really useful to get deeper in your analysis. Then we have the graphics uh, element. Uh, which help us to plot uh, the graph. Uh, so you have uh, information like the percentage or occurrences, you have the Gauss formula, uh, the interval probability, and so on. After we have the graphs, uh, we have the occurrences distribution, and we have the intervals probability right here uh, calculated with uh, the Gaussian function with the Gauss formula. After that, we have the probability uh, density function, and we have uh, the specification limit, the upper and the lower one. So that helps us to know if our process is capable. And as we see in this function, um, a big part is not inside uh, the specification. So we, can, uh, we know by that that our process uh, must not be capable. And then we have the Gaussian function, which is very interesting. And uh, same, we have still uh, the specification limit, and we can see there is a huge part of the Gaussian function which is not um, inside uh, the specification limit. After, we have the normal probability plot, uh, which must be aligned as much as possible, and uh, it is right now. So uh, by that, we know uh, our data follow a normal distribution. After, 
we have the control chart with the upper specification limit and the lower specification limit and you have each of your data uh, which are shown right here and we can see a lot of data is upper of our limit and a lot of the of lot of, of our data is uh, below our uh, the specification uh, limit so uh, now we are going to proceed uh, to a new analysis so to proceed to the new analysis uh, i'm going to go in this workbook so i collect uh, the new uh, machine uh, diameter uh, after the improvement action we did to be uh, more accurate so i'm just going to copy uh, this data and i'm going to paste uh, them uh, right here and an easy trick you can do is just uh, to copy uh, the normal uh, distribution uh, tab and uh, call it uh, after action and call this one uh, before uh, action and then uh, in the after action tab uh, you can select your uh, new data after uh, action so then we calculate uh, the new uh, tab and now we have the new uh, analysis so as we can see uh, the r square approach is uh, 0 0.97 uh, so it's very really great we have the new cp uh, which is uh, 1.41 and we have the cpk which is uh, 140 so as we can see our process is uh, capable and uh, we have the estimated non-conformity in ppm and the estimated uh, non-conformity and conformity and now we have uh, more than 99% uh, of conformity so as we can see the process capability is satisfying and the process comp uh, the process centering is very satisfying so that's what we can see uh, by uh, these numbers and then after we have again the calculation element and the graphics uh, element and after uh, the graphs and uh, now we have the new uh, probability uh, density function and as we can see uh, most of uh, the densities function is inside our uh, specification uh, limit which let us know um, the process is capable and after we have the Gaussian uh, function and uh, we can really see uh, right here uh, that our Gaussian function is uh, completely inside our specification limit so by that we can we know uh, our process is capable and after we have the normal probability plot and uh, after again the control chart and as we can see uh, most uh, of our uh, measured uh, value are inside uh, the upper specification and uh, the lower specification uh, limit there is maybe only one data which is uh, outside of our limit uh, and we can really see it uh, really easily uh, right here and so now I'm going to give you more information about the tool. Uh, so you can do um, different distribution analysis, exponential, binomial, and Poisson distribution. Uh, you have also uh, one tab uh, which is dedicated uh, to uh, test uh, data uh, generation. Uh, so you can generate uh, data according to different uh, distribution, uh, according to the parameters uh, you want. Uh, you have uh, in appendix um, a different table which help you to convert a CPK in non-conformity in PPM, in non-conformity percentage and in quality percentage. Uh, you have the compact table uh, with less information and you have different uh, things to help you to do uh, the analysis. After you have the credit. So in conclusion uh, as we saw uh, just by 
implementing your data and uh, putting right here your upper specification and your lower specification you can do very easily and very quickly uh, capability analysis so as a conclusion i'm giving you uh, different links in description you have the link to download the excel uh, file to do the analysis you have the link to my uh, website and my linkedin you can subscribe uh, to uh, the youtube channel and like the video also if you want a new c sigma tool presentation do not hesitate to post a comment bye